Hi and welcome to Bex Bug Out Survivor. Today we're going to look at my grey man pack. It is just a 45 litre pack and it is for offensive bugging out. So there's, there's not a lot of guns. They're things you're going to add if you want to make this a defensive pack. The pack itself isn't up to the job all i need to do is replace the actual pack itself there is a kajura pack in the post of exactly the same dimensions and literage as this so it will be a, a toughened version okay the gray man pack what i don't want is this to look like a camping pack i don't really want a roll pad across the top and I don't want a tent strapped to the bottom. I just want this pack to look like I could be going somewhere quite innocuous. First thing to do is if it has a logo is to cover it up. Try and make your pack very, very uniform. So one muted color, dark grays, navy blues, blacks, don't have anything to stand out. You really want it to be as bland as possible. Now in my pocket here, hopefully I bought some tape and I want to go over all the other bits covering up any distinguishing features. You can see the actual zippers came with this red here. That's quite distinguished. I don't want to see that. So I did try taping up with the army green sniper tape. I don't want to do that either. Instead, I've just got ordinary black gaffer tape. Now I'm going to make a better job of this when I get home, but I can just rip off a small section of tape and start covering anything like this. That is distinguishable. Still, there's a little bit left there so I can get that covered. Now, why isn't nylon a good idea for any kind of bug out, survival, grey man or otherwise? Because nylon, although it's lightweight and quick drying, it ladders like a pair of ladies tights. It's best just to have a proper Kajura. Even a polyester would be better than a nylon. The one that is a replacement for this is a Kajura. Okay, almost gone around everything that is red. And I'm gonna tidy it up because it's not perfect doing it on camera and I can trim off any bits I can still see there's bits of red here and there so like I said I'm going to tidy it all up at home another thing you'll want to do anything like this you need to take off now these kind of carabiners are great for when you're camping but they're a dead giveaway so get rid of these we're not going to use them and I doubt I'll be using black either. And day-to-day -day life, we make quite a concerted effort to get ourselves noticed. A lot of people like to be a people's person and to blend in and mix with others. The grey man is a totally different philosophy. You want to be unnoticed. You don't want to talk to people. You don't want to draw attention to yourself either by looking suspicious or shifty. You just a guy with a very small, unnoticeable, very mute pack waiting for a bus. Wear it over one shoulder like this and it doesn't look heavy. What is in my pack is going to be a bivvy set up without a sleeping bag and yet I still want to be insulated. So like I said, it's an offensive approach. I just want somewhere to sleep for the night and to be hidden and yet I don't want to be cold and wet 
if you light a fire you run no longer the grey man smoke will be noticeable in the day flame will be noticeable at night you need a layering system to be warm and then you need to keep that layering system dry so that is what I have here if you are going to carry arms as a defensive I would carry something more concealed which is going to be illegal in a lot of states in America not so if you have a permit here in the UK you just can't carry firearms at all but perhaps you could conceal something even a baton or a this is not a, a get home bag where when I get home I might confront rioters or looters and I would definitely want to be armed somehow there but with this being an offensive pack I'm really not worried about returning back to a certain location I'm more concerned about moving forward moving on keeping myself warm sheltered and well fed I'm opting for a bivvy approach a bivvy I can throw down anywhere it's low to the ground it's concealed I have insulation here which goes inside the bivvy this is in the form of an air mat now if I was to switch it out to a foam mat I could line it the pack all the way around and then fill in the center this is a standard army British bivvy this is a camping reflective bivvy that sits inside it no sleeping bag for me here I have insulated trouser section for the bottom half which is also waterproof and a dry bag I have my ECW cold weather jacket in the sides I need a resource to cook you can go with whatever stove system you want I've gone with the traditional hexi stove let me just get it out of this bag British Army hexi stove runs on hexamine when the hexamine runs out this becomes a wood burning stove let me just put the hexamine back in there folds up flat I have put a windshield here because it makes one hell of a difference piece of leather there so I can pick up anything that is hot this isn't going to be the lightest and I don't pretend it is so I'm going to let you decide if you want to use a transgia stove and bring liquid alcohol with you you know that's up to you if you want to use gas cartridges again that's up to you I'm not going to get into debates and arguments about that but when the fuel runs out here this is a wood stove this is my cook pot which sits in the side there now this is off an old jet boil I've taken the sleeve off that sits nicely on top of the hexamine stove and it burns quick it really does heat water quick I have gone for a steel Nalgene like this one litre that fits inside there everything is designed to fit together nicely so I have the ability to sterilize water and to keep water in the ability to cook food quickly and stealthily well I'm going to insulate through this here which is my ECW jacket extreme cold weather don't ask where I got it these are not available so as you can see I'm going to be sleeping in my clothing but I have to make sure the clothing is up to par the insulation will come in my case in the form of this pad which I'm going to slip into standard British Army bivvy bag grab the insulation of choice foam air leave that to you
Next is this reflective bivvy. Now remember I'm not going to use it to get in. It's more a duvet that goes over me. I want to keep my insulation, which is in lieu of a sleeping bag, which is my ECW jacket. I want to keep it dry. Now, I'm not going to put this in a ball shape. I want to keep it to the shape of the pack, into the pack. Rain jacket into the pack. Let's come back to our bivvy setup. I like flat packing all my packs, even camping packs. And as you saw at the beginning, because everything is stacked vertical, I never ever have to dig to get the one item I want. Very easy to pack away. So looking down from the top of my pack is I have my shelter here. So rain, snow, driving wind, at least I can get out of them elements I can throw it on the ground pretty much anywhere if I want to insulate be warm inside this I have my lightweight winter insulated rain pants ECW jacket again quick access to it nothing has been buried I have access to everything just by looking down so insulation shelter there everything is very accessible just going to put my rain jacket in there the benefits of packing like this is it's quick and stealthy I can throw this up in an old deserted barn a warehouse outside like this safe in the knowledge I'm going to be warm and dry So do I buy into the grey man philosophy? Not on a personal level, no. And what is the worst case scenario you think that is going to happen if somebody notices you? And I get this often in the comments. That pack of yours is noticeable because it is over 50 litres. That pack of yours is noticeable because it is of a certain military look. It has DPM pattern it's noticeable it's suspicious and that my friend could be your paranoia believe it or not nobody gives a damn what color or size pack you've got and when shit hits the fan and it's all gone down there's riots in the street do you think somebody is going to be pointing at you saying that man has got a 60 litre pack that is suspicious i'm going to check him out no they're going to carry on doing their own thing while you and me, we're gone. So I look at it from both sides. I have a pack now ready to be the grey man. I also have other packs which are a little more tactical and some are just olive drab, which suits me. But they're the bigger packs, they're 90 litres. And generally I have camping gear, civilian camping gear in an olive drab 90 litre pack if people want to worry about something looking suspicious so what what, what are they going to do call the police confront me what are they going to do i also did a webbing video where we put webbing on and somebody commented that would scare people that webbing i'm thinking you're a dick you're an absolute dick why would wearing webbing scare people you know, the British Army have been using webbing for years, decades. <coughs> anyway, I'm all dried out here. So it's a bit of a rant on my part. I don't really give a damn about the grey man look or image. 
uh, it, because if you do have an offensive pack with arms, knives, firearms, why the hell would you lack confidence? So that's what it's all about, I think, is these people lack confidence. But if there is an opportunity where perhaps you are being surveilled and you want to leave your own premises to get from A to B, perhaps this is something you would consider. And perhaps I'm talking about martial law, where the army and the police have combined forces to have you locked in your own house and you can't go out after 7 p.m. And believe me, there are countries, and it's happened in the past, that that could happen. And in the climate we're living right now, it's not beyond the realms of imagination that that could happen again. And you might just want to travel light and quickly and get unnoticed. And this, the only benefit for me for this is I can move a lot quicker than having a sleeping bag and tent in here. That's the only benefit for me. So a bit of a rant there, I'm going to leave it up to you, I don't give a damn one way or the other perhaps, you have very focused thoughts um, about it one way or the other. Um, I can see aspects of why this would be beneficial, I can also see aspects why it wouldn't. It is seems to be not a universal way of thinking. You are all grey man or you are all tactical or you're like me, you just don't give a shit one way or the other and you're going to put on whatever is applicable for your environment at the time. Is this applicable right here, right now? It's neither one way or the other, but I'm pretty sure no one will give a damn what I'm wearing. Until next time, take care of yourself. I'll see you out there. Happy trails.